What is good YouTube? It's Ricky Rose coming at you with a brand new video and in this video we're going to be talking about things, well three things that you can actually do to improve your jump shot, increase the chances of you getting green lights and there, believe it or not there's several things. There's not only three, there's way more than that to be honest if you look at it. Now first things first, we're going to go over the hot spots. The hot spots are usually the main thing that really correspond to you getting more green lights because those are your hot zones. Now, as you can see, all I have are red zones and blue. Well, keep in mind, I am, I'm on my sharpshooter right now, so I can't, you know, in the paint, I can't normally get those hot zones unless I'm open because I can't go on the center and try to go up in the paint. I'm going to just get my shit blocked. Now, they did say that the 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 hot zones weren't going to be a very big impact like 17 and 16 where you actually needed those to actually hit consistently in this game they said there were going to be very minimal difference when you have them and when you don't but still anything that increases the chance of you making your jump shot is well deserved like there's no point in not having it if, if i'm shooting a three i want everything on me my nigga like if i want my hot zones i want everything that 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 i have to work for me you know what I'm saying? I want that shot to go in. Especially if it's a close game and they counting on you to hit the shot. You got to let that bitch fly. Fuck that shit. Now, the second thing that I am going to be talking about, it's, uh, how can I put it? It's one thing uh, that you can't really do, but you have to focus on using your analog. Now, this has, like, as you can see, I already got a green light. It was like, when you're using your uh, your dumb stick, it has an increased chance of the ball going in. Now, normally, I don't like to use the the dumb stick, but it's just like if you have that chance and you're wide open, why not increase your chances even more? On top of the uh, high spots, increase your chances even more by using the high. Uh, that's the high spot. The the thumb stick. Why not use it? Especially if you're a sharpshooter, you're gonna be using it. You need to shoot the ball in that direction. Now, if you switch your options to, I believe, what is it, absolute? All you have to do is hold the analog stick up. You don't have to move it towards the basket. If you switch your, uh, I believe, control, control something into absolute. All you have to do is to hold the analog up. Now, that's one thing that I've been trying my best to do when I'm playing 2K. The little that I play 2K, but still, like I try my best if I'm playing Pro Am or I'm playing Walk On or even the Park. If I'm open, I'm gonna switch to my right stick, just because if I get that slight chance that it might go in, I'm taking it. Like fuck it, you need it, and especially if that shot, like I said, is deadly. You know what I'm saying? You need to let that bitch fly. Now the last thing that I'm gonna be talking about is the. Uh, now this one it comes to feel instead of doing you know with the right stick or just things that you have to get in a career game this one has to do with the feel in your controller now if you haven't noticed when you're shooting the ball there's a vibration that your controller sets off that you have to be aware of this happens when you're going i believe for a dunk a layup a floater jump shots it doesn't matter what you're going if you're going towards the basket the only thing that doesn't count i believe is the alley you don't get the vibration but uh, if, they, if you're catching the ball, you do. But if you're shooting the ball, you get a vibration on your controller indicating that you need to release the ball. If you don't release it as soon as you feel that vibration, then you're shooting your jump shot wrong. And I suggest you try to put a jump shot that you're already well accustomed to. Something that you, you know, by the top of your heart, if you remove the little uh, shot bar, you already know when to release it without the vibration. If you took the vibration off your controller, because I know it's kind of annoying, you know, bumping into people, your controller vibrates. You, you steal the ball or you stumble the ball, your controller vibrates. I know some people take it off and I don't, I'm not mad at you, but that vibration is very key to learning a new jump shot and also mastering the one that you have already. So you have to keep that in mind. Now, I know these tips is a little different. They'll be like, oh, well, I already knew all of these things. There's a lot of people that still got 2K and don't know about these things. So you gotta keep that in mind. And the last thing I know said, I know that I know I said that was three, but the last thing is gonna be a key jump shot. You need to have a good fucking jump shot and not you're not doing nothing. Now we're gonna go into the jump shot creator. As you can see, Lamarcus Aldridge is one of the best uh bases you can honestly put. 
and you can put it with with just about any release that you want any release that you feel good with using and you can throw it on rudy gay is another one as long as you got the timing down and you can feel the vibration and you can put every other aspect that i've been talking about you're most likely gonna knock down that jump shot jump shot nine jump shot eight jump shot 11 if you're very quick and you like quick jump shots jump shot 11 well the base is very deadly like it's good as fuck especially if you have uh lamarcus aldridge with it it's gonna kill like the releases for lamarcus aldridge and uh jump shot base 11 you're gonna kill with it now those are the tips that i got to offer to you hopefully you guys do take this in with a grain of salt because i know a lot of people like i know this shit. i don't need this uh, this this always want to complain about something and i get it i'm not mad at you i'm just trying to help you get better that's how i knock down my shots i win most of my games i'm just help. i'm just trying to help you improve your game but that is going to be the end of the video please leave a like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think you already know who the fuck it is man it's your boy ricky rose and i'm out of here